<coughs> Excuse me. Gemini, welcome to your extended. I'm back from San Diego for a night before I fly out again to San Francisco. If you are coming to the satsangs in Oakland, hi, I'll see you the day after tomorrow. Or two days. Okay, now, this already happened for me this morning. So this reading is very, very, very on point. But let's do bottom of the deck before we do any clarification or anything else, okay? See you. Because I just put these cards on top of here and I packed it up and I brought it home. So, <clears throat> King of Wands, the Lovers, the Hierophant, okay. The Magician, whoa. Seven of Swords, yes, okay. The Hanged Man, Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups. Oh, sorry. All right, you see it? You see? Now, let's read it. What's under the Leo? Queen of Swords, okay. Page of Wands. Two of Wands, Eight of Swords, the Star. Okay, sorry, I'm just very curious. All right. I'm going to read them as they are, and then I'm going to read them in relation to what we already have on the table, okay? So not to uh, muck it all up, because this is, in essence, these ones here are kind of a new reading again. But we will relate it to the reading underneath, but let's give it its due, because this is what's falling out of the ether now and it was falling out of the ether for now even when we did the reading which is why I didn't touch the deck so here it is and this is what's upon us now you have some sort of a reconciliation going on with a king of wands figure in your life either this is a fire sign someone older than you or it is a parental figure either way it's someone who uh, for a while now has not really been seeing things your way and there seems to be a coming together here which is pretty powerful and productive because they are guarding you now from this earth energy that um, I feel really wants to make a comeback and if they do make a comeback and I think the earth energy that actually is allowed to get past your filters and your guardians and is allowed to actually come back into your life. I feel like if you do let the earth sign back in, even though you know that this is no longer the way, then the way that earth sign manifests once it comes back around is uh, this Taurus card here, the Hierophant. So Taurus in relation to in a love reading or a reading about relationships, which is what this is for sure, is not a very positive card. Uh, the Pope is, of course, associated with religion and, you know, all the things that go with religion, tradition, rules, rituals, all of that. But also, to be very clear, the Pope is also completely associated with lavishness, decadence, uh, the hidden, the secret, uh... You know, in Rome, they say if you live really, really, really well, you live like a pope, right? So if the earth energy is allowed to come back into your life and instead of heeding the ace of wands, eight of wands energy of bringing the good stuff and the productivity to you and having your judgment moment with the earth energy and moving forward, if you don't do that, if you choose to somehow let that energy back into your life, the way it shows up is very dishonest. Um, when the magician shows up alone, of course, there are many ways to read it. When the magician shows up like this, flanked by a card that we know is associated with secrets and, you know, um, yeah, <laughs> that's the nicest way to put it, right? And then we know the magician is always telling us one thing, showing us one thing while doing quite another. So at its basic core, there is an element of deception. And then we also know that the Seven of Swords is someone who is, for one, taking what does not belong to him, obviously. 
but also there is some 